a city just north of Orlando that blends old world charm with a lot of the modern conveniences of today. Welcome to Winter Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> I should have said that. Winter Park was founded in 1881 as sort of an escape for a lot of Northeasterners to get away from the snow. Since then, it's been known for really the luxury properties and the high-end feel throughout the community. The location is just north of downtown Orlando, and it's about 30 minutes from Orlando International. So you're in a really good location to be able to get away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Orlando and the tourism area farther south of us. So let's get into the real estate. One of the things I know you love about Winter Park is the diversity in real estate. The whole town has been built up over the past 100 years or so. So you've got these large estates on massive properties all the way down to smaller little houses that many of them are getting either remodeled or torn down for something newer and bigger in its place. If you're worried about new construction in Winter Park though, I will tell you that the city council and the planning division are trying to protect this area and they do a really good job. Speaking from personal experience, we tried to do a redevelopment deal here in Winter Park and it took us almost two years to get it through the process because they wanted to make sure that it was just right. So if you're a developer, it could be problematic, but if you're a homeowner, you're going to absolutely love the overall feel of Winter Park. Rolling! Really? For real? So let's talk pricing real quick. So Winter Park has some of the more expensive real estate in all of Central Florida. In fact, 40% of all the current listings are actually over a million dollars, which is really only rivaled by, say, Windermere. Just sort of as a side, because I'm a nerd about this stuff, if you look at percentage-wise, there's actually more million dollar homes in Windermere, but as a percentage, there's more million dollar houses selling in Winter Park here. So if you're looking at an investment standpoint on where to put your money, it might be Winter Park because of the overall demand for high-end homes. So we're here on Park Ave, and you know you're on Park Ave because of all of the brick road streets and the old shops. And it's really cool because you've got restoration hardware and Pottery Barn right next to shops that have been here for decades. It's a cool spot that they'll do the farmer's market right over here. They've got art in the park. There's a lot of things that bring the community together and makes the lifestyle and amenities of living in Winter Park something truly unique. So here's a fun piece of history. So the Alphon Inn is actually owned and run by Rollins College. But before it was built in 2003, it was actually the Langford Resort. And it was sort of the gateway to old Central Florida, if you will. People that stayed there were Ronald Reagan, Hugh Hefner, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. So it gives you an idea of what this area attracts and some of the history that's here in Winter Park. One of the cool things about Winter Park is Rollins College, which is interwoven throughout the entire city. A couple cool things about Rollins College is that it was actually Florida's first four-year school, and one of the most famous people to graduate from Rollins College, which you may know, is Fred Rogers of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So this was actually his first neighborhood. Pretty cool. Winter Park is truly a unique city here in the Orlando area. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a house here in Winter Park, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. Reach out today at 407-717-0197 or shoot me an email at ken at positgroup.com. And last thing, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to our channel as we're putting out videos every single week on insights here in Central Florida. See you guys on the next video. Yeah! <laughs>